Greetings, today I come bearing some joyous news. The Dalai Lama has voiced his support for ethno-nationalism in Europe and he has claimed that these people, the migrants, the refugees, they need to go back to their own countries to rebuild them. And this is obviously not in congruence with the narrative that we hear from the establishment of the West, in this case Sweden. So the Swedish journalists who have previously been supportive of Dalai Lama because he is a popular person, of course, but now he is completely shattering their narrative. Now here is something to keep in mind. And this is why I respect Dalai Lama. He is a holy person, he is a spiritual person, and there is such a thing as right and wrong. There is such a thing as a metaphysical truth. And Dalai Lama, a highly developed spiritual man, he is not overly concerned with his social rules that the establishment, the media for example, is trying to shame people with. So he does not play by their rules because he is so much more enlightened than they are. And this is something I've tried to do myself throughout all these years, to speak the truth even if my voice shakes. And this is something I encourage you to do as well. If everyone started to speak the truth, no matter social consequences, I think we would be in a much better position. One of the instruments of censorship is the social censorship, the politically correct social censorship, which stipulates that you will become ostracized if you harbor certain views. Now, fortunately, there is such a thing as right and wrong, and it is wrong on every single level what is going on in Europe. The great replacement of Europe's native population is wrong. Dalai Lama sees this as clear as can be. I see this as clear as can be, and you should also see this as clear as can be. And this is so refreshing to see when a highly respected person such as the Dalai Lama takes the side of ethno-nationalism and takes the side of me. A far-right extremist is what they call me. And why do they call me that? Yes, because I have said that Sweden belongs to the Swedish people. Germany belongs to the Germans. Britain belongs to the British. This is a far-right extremist position to hold, but it doesn't matter that perhaps even a majority of people think this. The truth is the truth, right and wrong exists. It is right to stand up for your own people and it is morally wrong on every level what is happening in Europe at the moment. And I can just salute Dalai Lama for keeping it real, for speaking the truth and for reprimanding the authorities in the West. Well, perhaps he didn't reprimand them per se, but when he says these things he is definitely lending moral legitimacy to us in the opposition. So, some good news that I wanted to share with you all and follow the example of Dalai Lama here and speak the truth no matter if your voice shakes. XOXO, boom.